jump in and get inspired. Okay, folks, I have a new problem. I just crashed my Mavic drone into the trees here in winter. I wanted to make a nice shot of some snow laden trees and I made it too tight. Yeah, and this is the tree where, where, where I have to search my drone. I wanted to make that, the flight like this. But I flew sidewards into that tree here. Exactly here. Yeah. So maybe we'll just see the drone from here, but I don't believe so. And now I have to figure out how to rescue it. So it will be very funny or it won't be anything because I can't reach it. So we will see. Look how much snow we have. And this is the beautiful landscape here in the winter. This is the hut where we live. Okay, I just found the drone in a different tree than I thought previously. I thought it would be in the spruce behind, which can be climbed more or less. But it is here. Look at that. Crazy, right? Oh man. 30 centimeters higher or 40 and the crash wouldn't have happened. What a pity. <laughs> Crazy. Okay, so now I have to figure out how to get it down. At least I found it. The tree is not as easy to climb, but I think I will try something else to get it down. Drone localized. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, super. Okay, so I assume that this is like seven meters, six or seven meters above ground. And um, as I see it from here, I cannot climb the tree. I will resort to arborist techniques to get it down. I have here a thin line to which I will attach, well, a thrown bag I don't have, but something similar. It is a bottle of detergent where I remove the det detergent from it and poured some water into it so it is like I don't know maybe 200 grams maybe 150 grams so it should fly more or less good yeah we will see <laughs> okay so we will see what's going on I will try to do my best Okay, it's a little bit too heavy. <laughs> okay, this was nothing. Yeah. Yes. Do it. Hmm. Now I try it with a stone because the bottle is not flying well. Number six. Number seven. Oi. Oi. No. Das war ein Mordanschlag. Yeah. Okay, Annette had, had the ingenious idea to make a throwback out of a plastic bag and some stones wrapped several times. And this should fly better now. Oh, oh. It slipped. <laughs> Last chance. Woohoo.
Festa! Come, 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 baby. Here she is. Here. Oh, the little baby. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. What's going on? Oh, fuck. Okay, nothing's broken, apparently. Oh, man. Nothing is broken, everything's okay because of the snow, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So I will try her out if she flies. No, not you now. You will get flying lessons from me. Flying lessons. Uh, flying lessons. Or maybe kissing lessons. Kissing lessons. Yeah, I, I got it. Oh, mm. <laughs> <laughs> The next day, I try to fly today the drone. Let's see how it functions. We'll see. Okay, starting. Oh, yeah, baby, yeah, baby, yeah, baby, yeah. Come on. Yeah. How beautiful. And now I do the shot that I wanted to do yesterday. Let's go. Nice, nice. How beautiful. It worked out. Perfect. Today is our last day. So we departure today, back home to Munich and leave the snowy Alps behind us. We have already everything packed and come return home. And then I will do that video. Yeah, very funny. A lot of adventure for my drone this time. I crashed it two and a half times. The first time was when I flew it horizontally, close to the ground, on a steep um, mountain, well, the foothill, and there was a higher part that uh, I didn't see, and it crashed horizontally, horizontally and laterally, so south, sidewards, into the grass, nothing happened but I had to search it for half an hour. At least no rescue from a tree or something like that, but half an hour lost in the mountains up there. Then the half time was when I didn't make the landing well, so it landed in the snow. Well, this was nothing dramatic, but it was a little bit like a half a crashing. And that, 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 that crashing yesterday, where I landed <laughs> the drone in the tree and had to rescue it. Very beautiful here, look around. So I hope you did like the video. And learn something from it. I learned a lot of from this these experiences this time. Very funny and very insightful. Okay, so now it's over for this time. Goodbye.
Okay, now I'm back in Germany and I would like to show you how it works with the throwing bag, how I rescued the drone in Austria. The professional part would be more or less to use throwing bags which can be bought from Arborist companies like this one for example. This is a throwing bag of 8 ounces. This one as well. Uh, this one yeah, it doesn't say anything, but it's more or less the same, but different sizes, different colors you can purchase. And what you need more is a throwing line or throw line, Wurf Leine und Wurfbeutel in German. And the only thing that you need is to make a, like this, right? Nothing special. And then you enter here, and then you have to pull the throwing bag here through this part, and then it closes like this. And this is usually if something is, if this is not too wet or not too icy as in the case where it slipped in, in the Alps, it's usually okay. But you can ha make a half hitch to secure it once more. And then you throw it. And basically it works like this. You throw it over a branch like this and it comes down on the other side see it maybe right and then you can pull on the branch or use both ends to pull on the branch and shake it shake it until the drone falls down okay but usually you won't have it you can purchase it from different Aberus companies like in Germany for example one of the best companies is free worker where I purchase my all my climbing gear, tree climbing gear. They are very cool guys. Uh, if you don't have it with you, because you don't want to carry 250 grams with you and the line, you can as well pack a random plastic bag, not too big, in your backpack, like this one, it's not very big. As you see, out of fabric or plastic, it, what you prefer, then you will surely find some pebbles in the forest or, um, or wood or something like that that is heavy. That should be more or less like, like the throwing bag, more or less. It depends how you feel comfortable. It should fly well and come down well on the other side, but it should not be too heavy, then you cannot throw it well. Put it into the bag. Then you make a few turns. Wrap it around it. Make again a few turns and wrap it again. It's like an octopus almost. And if it's still too big, you can repeat it until you say, okay, it's now cool like this, right? Then you make here a knot on that part to, to make it tight. A half hitch, oh, come on. Okay, so now you have something similar as the throw bag, right? Very improvised. And now you need, of course, a cheap line. This line I used in the video for rescuing my drone. We found somewhere and we had it in our van. 
So the same stuff I make like this, like this, like this. It closes down here. Boom. And the, in my case, the line was frozen and a little wet and slippery in combination with the plastic. So you need to make a half hitch again to secure it. And then you can throw it. As you have seen, it worked well out. So uh, this is a nice idea from Annette to improvise a throwback with the means that you have in, in your household or in your van, wherever. And this is very, very light, so you can pack one or two of those plastic bags in your backpack and carry it with you. And all you need is, well, it depends on the height of the tree, so, something like 10 or 15, 20 meters of a line. I would prefer to have something stronger than that, but you have to carry it. Well, you don't need to have 100 meters with you, but it depends on the height of the tree. So, in order to purchase those bags and throw line, you can check out Freeworker. It's a very good company. They don't pay me anything for <laughs> making ads here for them, but I can recommend them. Yeah. That's it. Come on. Jump in. And get inspired.